The Nazi Party is short for the National Socialist German Workers' Party and was a far-right political party in Germany, active between 1920 and 1945. The Pi was created after World War I to draw workers away from communism and towards nationalism. Although in the 1920s the party was anti-capitalist, by the 1930s the party had shifted its focus to be more anti-Semitic and anti-Marxist. Adolf Hitler became party leader in 1921 and by 1933 was appointed Chancellor of Germany. This allowed Hitler to create a totalitarian regime called the Third Reich. For ordinary people in Germany, before the war, life was good. Nazi economic policies gave full employment. There was pride in the German culture and people felt safer. If you were a party member, life was even better with preferential treatment. If you were considered undesirable by the Nazi party, life was very different. The Nazi party considered Germans to be the Aryan master race and tried to eliminate anyone who was not part of this supposed race. If you were Jewish, Polis, Romani, Black, homosexual or mentally or physically disabled, the Nazi party would segregate you and remove your rights. Eventually, the German state controlled by the Nazi party enacted the final solution which resulted in the murder of 6 million Jews and millions of other innocent people in concentration camps. Heinrich Himmler was one of the main architects of the Holocaust using his deep belief in the racist Nazi ideology to justify the murder of millions of victims. Himmler was in charge of the paramilitary group, the SS, who were responsible for enforcing Germany's racial policies and running the concentration camps. A subdivision of the SS was the Gestapo, created by Hermann Goering. They were the secret police of Nazi Germany. Those who were arrested were often violently treated prior to release or imprisonment. Gestapo tactics include murder to and torture of prisoners. You can only imagine how frightening life in Nazi Germany must have been for anyone who was not considered part of the supposed Aryan master race. Joseph Goebbels was in charge of propaganda for the Nazi party and the Reich Minister of Propaganda from 1933 to 1945. The Nazi-controlled German state used newspapers, cinema and radio to spread propaganda. This included topics such as anti-Semitism and positive messages about the war. This meant that people living in Germany rarely heard or saw anything negative about the Nazi party or the German state. They only ever heard one side of the story. In 1936, Berlin hosted the Olympic Games. Hitler used this as an opportunity to spread his message of anti-Semitism by banning Jewish athletes. Germany won more medals than any other country that year, and it's easy to see how Nazi Germany used this to convince its people that they were a superior race. Schools and universities were used to brainwash children into racial ideas of Nazism. All teachers had to join the Nazi Teacher Association, and all Jewish teachers were sacked. Children were encouraged to report their teachers to the authorities if they did not teach and support Nazi ideals. I imagine this would have been very scary for unpopular teachers. School textbooks were rewritten to promote German greatness. Boys were mainly taught to be soldiers and girls to be housewives. By 1938, Jewish children were banned from education. In 1936, it was made compulsory for all young boys to join the Hitler Youth, which was a part of the SS. The Hitler Youth was meant to ensure the future of Nazi Germany, so boys were brainwashed into following Nazi ideals. The Hitler Youth and League of German Maidens were very popular with young people. It made them feel important and gave them opportunities to take part in lots of activities. Once children left school, they had to get a job. Jobs were easy to find in Nazi Germany. 
Nazi Germany banned trade unions which typically stood up for the rights of workers and replaced them with the German Labour Front. They kept wages low and almost always followed the wishes of the employer, not the employee. This meant that more jobs could be created, but workers were generally unhappy with the poor wages and hard working conditions. This got harder after Nazi Germany went to war. Strength through joy was a part of the German labour front. Its job was to promote national socialism to the people. It was the world's largest tourist operator and made leisure activities available to the masses. This was great for the people of Nazi Germany, but when war broke out in 1939, it was closed down. Healthcare was available only to those from the supposed Aryan race, and the quality of this decreased as the war progressed. Women were expected to stay at home. The three C's, or the three K's in German, were used to describe the women's place in German society. The three C's stand for children, kitchen, and church. The law of encouragement of marriage gave newly wedded couples a loan of 1,000 marks and allowed them to keep 250 marks for each child they had. Mothers who had more than eight children were given a gold medal. Many women were not happy, however, as many were forced to give up their jobs. Women were also not allowed to serve in the armed forces even during the war. Nazi Germany reluctantly put women to work in the factories during World War II due to the desperate lack of equipment on the front line. Despite many groups of people feeling oppressed by Nazi German rule, it was dangerous business opposing them. Nazis used fear and horror against anyone who disapproved of their regime. The Edelweiss Pirates were a youth group opposed to the beliefs of the Hitler Youth. During the war, they assisted German deserters and allies. They would also regularly beat up members of the Hitler Youth. Although the Edelweiss Pirates used violence, another youth group called the White Rose used non-aggressive tactics such as anonymous leaflet drops. In 1944, Karl von Stauffenberg led an assassination attempt on Hitler and the removal of the Nazi party. Ultimately, this failed. This will be familiar with anyone who has watched The Red Dwarf as Lister travels back in time and steals von Stauffenberg's briefcase that contains the bomb intended to kill Hitler. Life before the war in Nazi Germany could be good if you were not discriminated against. The constant state-controlled propaganda likely made you feel good to be German, and the Nazi party offered political stability after World War I. Life in Nazi Germany probably got harder after the outbreak of World War II. Rationing, low wages and military conscriptions were probably not welcome. If you were discriminated against in Nazi Germany, life was hard, dangerous and at times unbearable. The surrender of Germany to the Allies in 1945 marked the end of Nazi Germany. The party was formally abolished on the 10th of October 1945 and its most senior leaders were tried at Nuremberg, with many receiving a death sentence.